Welcome to the Learn to Use Your Online Class Space webinar recording. This topic will be useful for ACAP students enrolled in the Bachelors of Counselling, Coaching and Applied Social Science and also the Graduate Diploma of Counselling and the Masters of Counselling and Psychotherapy. This is a recording of the material we cover in the live webinar of this topic. You may want to just watch the video straight through or use the pause button to stop and look at information and do activities. The webinar slides are available at this link. Here's a question to get you thinking about where you are currently and your level of confidence with technology. I'd like to reassure you that even if you would choose C or D, you can get to grips with online study. I know many students who started with few computer skills and then successfully learned the online systems and completed their studies. In this presentation, we want to learn how to log into the student portal and navigate around. We want to learn how to stay informed and, very importantly, find out what to do in the class spaces each week and how to find and submit assignments. We also want to know how to communicate with the teacher and other students in the class. As a new student, your username and password for the student portal will have been emailed to you by ACAP. You may need to look back through the emails you received before the start of your course. If you can't find the login details, get in touch with the IT help desk. Once you have your login details, go to acap.edu.au. The link to access the student portal is at the top here. Put in your student number and password here. When you log in, you'll see this main screen first. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the news items on this front page. On the left, you can see links to parts of the student portal. My classes, archived classes, email, IT help desk, personal details, enrolment, financial statements, etc. Let's go to my classes first. On the My Classes page, you'll see a list of your units and also a link to the School of Counselling Student Lounge. Let's look at that. As you can see, the Student Lounge has lots of helpful sections. The School News is a great way to stay on top of what's happening within the school. There's a page here with key contacts within the school and information for new students. Let's have a look at that. You'll have lots of questions about your course and many of the answers are here on the New Students page. Information about enrolments, course sequence, assignments, online and on-campus study. OK, back to the Student Lounge main page. Here you can write questions and get answers from School of Counselling staff. And here there's information on student reps and seminars and guest speakers. Then there's student forums. In this section, you can look for a study buddy, buy or sell secondhand textbooks, and get onto the ACAP Facebook group. You can't break anything in the student lounge, so come in and click on everything just to explore. Now let's go back to the My Classes page. To go into a class space, we'll click here. OK, we're in. This is a class space for the unit Conflict Resolution. There are lots of things in the class space, but let's start with getting set up for study. You want to find out what the textbook is for the unit. We'll click on unit information here and click again on this link to open a PDF file. There's some general information about the unit in the beginning and then textbook information. Coop.com.au is a good place to get your textbooks. You may also find them on other online sites such as Amazon. OK, so you've got your textbook, now what do you do? Well, each week there's information to read and instructions on what to do here in the weekly sections. 12 sections for 12 weeks of the trimester. I'll open a section. Each section is organised like a book. This is the first page, and you can either use the arrows here to move forwards and back through the pages, or choose your page from the menu here on the left. The page called Section Requirements tells you what you should do during this week. You can see you need to read a chapter of the textbook, as well as other readings provided here. There are activities within the following pages of this section, for example defining conflict, and a self-assessment activity as well. Now a study tip for you. Each weekly section has a reference list. 
This tells you the books and other resources that were used to write the section. These resources are a great place to start looking for information for your own assignments. If you're an online or blended delivery student, you may have live online classes during the trimester. Check the announcements forum here regularly to find out if you have live classes. The live classes are held in a platform called Blackboard Collaborate, which you can access here. OK, let's move on to look at assignments. We'll go back to the unit outline link. Here, there's a summary of the assessment requirements for the unit. I need to open the unit outline PDF again to get to the actual assignment questions. The questions are usually about halfway through this document. OK, here we are on page 8. This is what the assignment questions look like. The next page has the marking criteria. Look at that when you're doing your assignments as well. When you're ready to submit your assignment, go to the week it's due and there will be a submission link there. The submission link will open a week or so before the assignment is due. There are written and video instructions on how to submit your assignment when you click on the link. You'll get an email when your assignment result is ready. You can also click on the grades link here to check results. OK, now let's look at how to stay up to date with class news and learn how to communicate with your teacher and classmates. Announcements from your teacher and other ACAP staff are made here. The general discussion area here is a way to ask questions, communicate with your teacher and classmates. All the class can see the posts in here. You may want to ask your teacher a private question and email is a good way to do that. You can get into your student email through this link here. To find the email address of your teacher and classmates, go to the participants link here on the top left. OK, one last thing. This general information link here takes you to a page that has lots of information on things you want to know about, including instructions for submitting assignments. So explore this area too. There are also drop down menus at the top here that lead to the library website, handbooks, assessment resources, learning support and professional websites. For more information and help, here are some links to IT, Student Admin, the School of Counselling, the ACAP Facebook group and the Co-op Bookshop. Get in touch with us at Learning Support if you have any queries or need specific advice about an assignment you're writing. Good luck with your studies.